morning, Ryan Wilson from Predator. Uh, we just finished up West Coast Customs H2 Duramax conversion on a 2008 H2 Hummer. Uh, unique thing about this truck is it's going for armor plating, doing a V6 armament on it. It's gonna stop all pretty, pretty much all small arms fires up to 7.62 uh, NATO rounds. Um, from there, it's being shipped to Africa. So uh, come on inside, I'll show you about this, this truck here. The fit and finish is 100% Pretty much bone stock except it's got a duramax diesel engine put the lmm engine in there as well as a six-speed allison tranny so let's go ahead and take this thing around the block i'm gonna go ahead and drop it down into manual so right now it says m2 manual 2 it means it's in second gear it's going to stay in second gear until i switch it right now now we're in third so now I can drop it back to second and into first. Now it's going to stay in first until I switch it out of first. So I'll keep it in first for a second here. Again, I'm not going to get on it too hard, it's just a little bit too wet. There's second. Traction control's coming on. Third. Give it a bit longer and fourth. And the shifts are nice, smooth. Slightly firm, it just depends on how you're driving too. It's an adaptive transmission. What that means is as you're driving, it's gonna sense kind of what type of style you're driving. So right now it's getting a little bit aggressive on the on the back end on that uh, higher third gear. So it shifted a little bit firmer for me, which is what you want. Okay, so I'm gonna get on it a little bit here. It's, uh, you probably see the traction control light come on, but I'll shift through. I'm in first right now in the manual mode. Sideways there, second, third. Okay, that's kicked it up to fifth, so it'll actually shift through it as it's necessary, but you can keep it in a higher RPM range a little bit longer if you want to. So I've kicked it down to third, you can hear the downshift. Second as I go into the corner. So that's how the manual shifter works. You also look down here, we have a selectable two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, high and low. Transfer case set up to a factory fit and finish. Just flick it over into uh, four if you want to, or drive around in two-wheel drive, it depends on what you're doing. But uh, keep it in two-wheel drive around town, highway driving, get better fuel economy. Um, it, it depends on how you drive this truck, but you can get anywhere from for me, around town, probably 12, 13 miles per gallon. I'm a little bit heavy footed, but uh, if you're trying to drive conservative, you get out on the highway, we've got customers who are getting 21, 22 miles per gallon out of their truck. Again, it all depends on how you're driving, uh, type of driving style you do. Uh, around Southern California, it's kind of hard to get out on the open road and, and not have traffic in front of you and get that higher fuel economy. Uh, let's go ahead and jump outside and we'll take a look at the engine. Okay, we've got the hood open on the H2 Duramax for West Coast Customs. As you can see here, we've got the, the Allison uh, six-speed transmission hooked up to the 6.6 Duramax with the LMM engine. Um, what else? Selectable two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive transfer case. The fit and finish in this thing is perfect. Doesn't get any tighter. We've got dual batteries, factory battery over here, factory battery location. And on the Duramaxes, we have two batteries. Should be running two batteries. You can see the second one set up over there. Again, perfect fit and finish. Over here, we have our cooling stack. Uh, it's a little bit different, a little bit different from the factory setup. It's a little bit taller here, a little bit thicker. Uh, reason for that is it has a bigger radiator, bigger intercooler, and a bigger transmission cooler on it. And uh, so we have to have a little bit more room. So we modify the whole front end here. And we have this new uh, cooling stack cover here and mount. And uh, that's pretty much it. Again, very factory fit and finish. Um, the only difference is it says Predator across here. From the factory, probably wouldn't say Predator, um, although probably should. Uh, but uh, that, uh, that's a Duramax uh, conversion for West Coast Customs.